My name's Lars Rasmussen and uh, for the last 35 years I've worked uh, with the Natural Resources Conservation Service and it's uh, been quite an experience. I spent 20 or more years of that here in this valley. It's been my privilege to work with a lot of private landowners that uh, help them meet some conservation concerns that they have on their lands. In, in this valley, uh, the number one resource concern has been water quantity. We live in a desert. So I get to help these producers uh, navigate through some funding programs that NRCS has. Uh, so today we're going to make a visit with uh, a couple of producers that, uh, that we've worked with. And uh, it'll be fun to introduce you to some folks that have done a good job and become good friends in the process. So this is uh, Chad Peterson here from Lendl, and he's been uh, he's been working with uh, NRCS for a few years now on a on a number of different projects, and came out to to look at one of the most recent ones, which is a pipeline project with the idea of saving some water. We had used to have a ditch running parallel with this road, and actually the ditch it used to be right where the road is, and then uh, the ditch at 90 and go across and then water this way. Well now we just have one solid pipeline, a 21 inch and 24 inch pipe and put these risers and uh, eliminated a lot of ditch and uh, we're getting pretty good flow out of it and we used to uh, take, I don't know, probably seven days to water this whole farm and it's taken us about four days now and that, that's what's so nice about the system. If one side of the fields ahead of the other you just close one down and open one or either or and it's just as simple as this so it's pretty good to regulate I guess what excites me the most about it is seeing the amount of water that we can save from doing a project like this this is the first crop in after we put the pipeline in and we dissed it once and then uh, had uh, him come and level it and he put a nice finish on it and uh, then we just left it alone and uh, come in here and plant so it'll it. It'll be fun to see how this irrigates it, with, the, with it being level yeah. as opposed to still you know the field we were just the, looking at that, that uh, you're going to do a touch up on later. One of the first projects I did with the NRCS was this pivot. They got me started. We did an art alone on it and uh, Art will help me with the pipeline. We got we got it piped out here, and this what this pivot's done to my farming operation has increased me just tremendously. I mean, the production of this hay, and you can see how productive this hay is, has been a great asset to this farm. So this is Neil Clayton, and uh, we'll come out to visit with Neil and talk about this ditch project he put in here. A few, it's been a few years, hasn't it? Uh, this will be the fourth year. Fourth year. So you've got some experience with it? Well, you have to love cement ditches. Obviously, the less time. The water savings, tremendous. We went from an 8-foot stream to a 10 to 12-foot stream. So basically, we cut from on a 40-acre piece, oh, roughly 32 hours down to 24 each irrigation, which is tremendous. Um, pretty simple, just close it, drop it down, <laughs> makes it pretty easy. You have the same type of gate in the middle, one gate to open, one gate to close. The water savings there, the time irrigating is there. You know, obviously a lot better, easier to maintain, keep it clean. It doesn't take a lot of water, I mean it really don't. The head pressure we get here is phenomenal, but this ditch, I mean it's crazy. It just Get you enough to yeah, get on and get you, you can push it. Top. Which I'd rather water fast twice as once and soak it, you know, and not get your have it just yeah. going to the subsurface. So that's how you're getting your efficiencies on your place. You're just pushing it pushing over quick. quicker. The hay isn't staying just in Utah. It's it's going everywhere worldwide now. So yeah, I think it's really crucial that we take care of things and do them right. You've got to be on the productive end of it. You've got to have 
All of this has got to be in the computer, and you got to see where your margin is. Yeah. And that's what my boy's doing that I never did, and he's oh, he's different. He's been amazing. I walked out, and he shows me just his records. He knows boom, how boom, much boom. fertilizer he can put on. He knows how much seed he's got to plant to get maximum yields. He keeps track. He's got records back of every stream of water he ever yeah. took and how long that piece took. That's phenomenal. And that's the winner. Yeah. That's how you make it work. If you are doing that, you as well bag it up and go home. This has made this a beautiful valley. It is Look gorgeous. at the valley. The fences are clean. The ditches are clean. It's just a nice valley. I hope you've enjoyed meeting uh, Neil and Chad today. This is what makes my work so enjoyable is uh, is to see them have some success at uh, accomplishing uh, their goals on their place. <laughs>